So tonight I am sleeping in this camping hammock, my friend's property. Um, obviously the tarp doesn't fully cover the hammock, so it's a bit of a cheap setup. But um, I'm going to adjust the hammock a bit and hopefully I'll fit it in. So as this is my first time sleeping in the camping hammock, I'm just doing it at my friend's house so I know what to expect and if I need to change anything, like I might need a new tarp to go over it. Um, yeah, I'm very excited. It's going to be really warm tonight, so I shouldn't need too much insulation. You see under there, it's very close. So it is going to keep in an awful lot of heat, which will be good. I'm going to put a sleeping mat down so I don't lose heat on the bottom. And then I'm going to use a sleeping bag as I don't have a bivvy. So this is the setup for tonight. Pulled it a little bit closer. There's no rain forecast tonight, so it shouldn't make a difference. But, um, my sleeping mat, my sleeping bag already in there. Um, yeah, the only problem is because it's quite close to the hammock, I think I might have a little bit of trouble originally getting in, but I shall be fine. <laughs> Hi! Oh, you're leaving! Okay. Alright, so I am in the hammock now. Did rain a little bit. Um, to be honest, I'm really hot. I've just got a t-shirt on at the moment, trackies and socks. I've got a coat there. I've got a jumper with me as well. And only my feet are actually in the sleeping bag. It is surprisingly hot in here. Um, it's about 11. Yeah. About four o'clock and the foxes have been non-stop running around and they're pretty curious about the hammock so you hear them often running and then they'll stop right next to me and keep them running and it's a bit scary I know they won't actually you know fight me or anything but it's a little bit scary so hot in here. The whole night I've only been in my shirt, I've had my arms out the whole night um, and I haven't had the sleeping, sleeping bag zipped up the whole way. Um, just for a little bit of context, this is how close the tarp is to the thing. So it just keeps in all the heat even though there's big gaps in it. Um, I was very over prepared. I thought it was going to be freezing. So that was the night. It was really nice actually. Nice temperature. I was comfortable the whole time. Back didn't hurt. Knees didn't hurt. It was all good. Um, I know the trees aren't ideal. This one's really large. That one's very thin and they're quite far apart. But there's pretty much just a thin tree line around the whole property. So, I didn't have a lot of options. Yes, yeah, so this was pretty much all my gear. I had a mat, some snacks, a jumper, which I didn't put on, sleeping bag, water, and a lamp. Um, I could have uh, got out of the hammock at some point in the night and tried to film some of the foxes, but I was very comfortable, and to be honest, not scared of the foxes, but I'd rather not. So, yeah. All in all, very nice. Definitely going to be using the camping hammock again. <laughs>